everybody what's up welcome or welcome back to my channel i am going to be reviewing the new pat mcgrath celestial palette this is the Mo mothership mega celestial odyssey artistry palette yes big words i'm so excited to show you guys this look i came up with and my thoughts so without further ado we're gonna get right into this video Palette. This is the new holiday Pat McGrath palette, the Mega Eyeshadow Palette 2, I believe. This is the second one I got because the first one that was delivered was broken. So this is what it looks like. Oof, they're always so beautiful. This palette was only $78 and I am sure you're probably like $78 but usually like her 10 shadow pans go for 125 so 78 for this many shadows chef's kiss I had to get it so this is the mothership mega and it is celestial odyssey artistry palette so this is a 18 pan palette and I think I'm gonna do like a green a green and brown look today I love that they like frost the mirror so I can show you guys and not like have to be like, oh my god, I blinded you. But I'm I'm blinding you with the glossy black part of it. This is so beautiful. I got the one last year and I absolutely loved it. The formula is fantastic. And the price, you just can't beat it. Plus I had like credit card rewards. So I really only winded up paying like 56 bucks for the first one. <laughs> the second one I paid $78 for because my daughter wanted up keeping it when it first came this shade right here was broken. But she said she would use it. So instead of me going through the house of returning it, I just canceled the return and let her keep it because it's so pretty, so pretty. So I think I'm going to go into, I'm just going to point at the colors because I'm really not good with the names, like where it's placed because I'm like, is it like this or like that? Like, you know what I mean? So it is what it is. I'm going in with this brown right here. All right, so I'm going to take that color and I'm taking it on a Morphe M503 and I'm just going to place it a little above my crease and in my crease and just blend that out all the way over. I just want to get some of that dark brown, but then I really want to blow it out with that like warmer camel color in the palette. I don't own any of the actual mothership ones because um i'm sure they're gorgeous but again they're 125 dollars for like 10 shades and i'm just like no i'm not that dedicated like i'm really dedicated to makeup and you guys know this i'm not that dedicated okay it's expensive i think the most i've ever spent was 129 but it was on a natasha denona palette that had like several i think it's like 24 i think it's like 18 to 24 eyeshadows and they're pretty big where like you're getting 8 to 10 for 125 i'm not about it and as always i will link and list anything i'm wearing on my face today down below in the description if it's not an available makeup item then i can only put it down there and kind of tell you what it is but i can't link to purchasing it because it no longer is available for purchase so just letting you know that sometimes i will put it down there just so you if you don't see it it's still there i just can't say oh hey buy it here because you can't so i'm gonna go into this camel color right here and i'm gonna go ahead and just diffuse that brown that i put down i think that this color first of all this color is one of my favorite favorite fall colors second this color is like perfect up against green and that's why i really want to do like a green with this palette because this color just really it gives me all of the joys of fall mm very pretty i'm also gonna bring that color actually down here to my under eye i know you're probably like what the freak jamie we're skipping all over the place but i already have my face makeup done so i might as well work on this eye that is such a beautiful color and the formula is really nice like it's very blendable it's not patchy the brown i will say wasn't as pigmented as i thought it would be like it took me a couple tries and some of this is still kind of light i think i took the brown up too high so now i'm trying to just like kind of blend this to be much lighter which is not gonna happen because it's a dark color but i really just didn't want this dark color to be up as high as i put it i just kind of wanted it to be here and just a smidge above that crease but unfortunately with dark colors what's done is done and we're just gonna have to make do so now i'm trying to decide if i want to go into a primer 
think I'm gonna go into a primer. So the primer I'm gonna go into today is gonna be the Hourglass Veil Primer. The reason I am not using P. Louise is because I feel like that's gonna really just cake paleness on there and I don't want to do it I want to kind of keep it translucent if you will so I'm gonna go in with this one which is translucent it looks like a little pinky but it comes off translucent and I'm doing like a halo situation so I'm going to just go all around the ball of the eye the eyeball <laughs> I'm going around the lid and I'm also contemplating what the freak is going on with me today <sighs> finally decorated for Halloween and I've had the decoration since the end of September when I went out to dinner with my sister. I literally stopped at the store and I grabbed these decorations and here I am in mid of October putting them up. <laughs> Halloween is in less than a week. It is what it is. <laughs> so I thought I was gonna do a halo but like this teal is so pretty but I really just don't know how I feel about it with the green. I think they're gonna wind up meshing together and kind of making like their own situation. So I swatched them together to kind of see. I think I am. I think I definitely am. So I'm gonna go in with that peacocky teal color. Do we love how I explain colors? And I'm gonna put that on the outside or the inside and the outside of the eye where I just placed down that beautiful eye primer. That looks so good. I'm just like, yes. Depends if I'm gonna eat it. Like, the fuck, calm down. It's just so pretty. Oh my gosh. Yes. I do have some fallout, I'm not gonna lie, but I uh, expected that because it's like a glitter shimmer foil situation. All right, so I'm gonna go into that green one. That's right there on the corner, and I'm gonna place that on the center, and hopefully it'll be just as pretty and blend out like a dream. Like a dream. Oh my god. These are so stunning. If you do not have this palette, you need to get it. And I will tell you, Sephora is about to have their huge Rouge VIB sale. You get like 15, 20% off depending on what your status is with them. And so you could get like a discount on getting this by using your code during that sale. And it starts November 5th for the Rouge, the higher tier. And then I think it's like a couple days after that, it starts for the lower ones, VIB and whatever else is next. So I'm going back into that teal blue just to kind of swipe over this a little bit and also to go over just lightly the edges to blend it just a little more into that brown. Okay, so the blue did not stay on my face, but I do have sparkles on my face. So that's good though that like the blue didn't stay on. This is so so pretty like just ha huh, ha huh. it is so gorgeous like I could just this is I mean this is basically what I'm doing but like I'm going back into that camel color just to give like my under eye a little bit more of an orangey undertone and I'm trying to think if I'm gonna do I definitely think I'm gonna do an inner corner situation I just don't know because like I don't want to take from that color do you know what I mean I don't know I don't know so I was definitely going to kind of blend this green out a little bit more in the blue, but I kind of love how it's just like, I don't know. I'm going to do it. I'm going to blend it out. I just, I like how it is, but I fear that people are going to be like, that looks really That looks really sharp. So we're going to put a pause on the under eye and I'm going to try to lightly lightly use this teal blue on a very very light blending brush which is the morphe m441 i don't know why it looks like this because it usually does and i'm just going to bring it up just a smidge more and just over i'm not gonna really add any of that green i actually do like that i blended it i like it a lot i was gonna leave it sharp but i just it felt like something was missing Ooh. Okay, I'm so glad I blended that out. And I'm just going to go back in with that super, super green color and just kind of focus like right here on the center just to give it more of a situation. Does that make up on my shirt? Sure. Do I always have makeup on my clothes? Yes. All right, so I think I'm going to go into... Um, 
I've decided I'm going into this color which is it's hard to explain but it's almost like a nickel color I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna place that just lightly on the outer corner to give it a little love I do need to wipe off glitter so it definitely has some fallout, so just keep that in mind. But when you look at this palette, you're definitely going to be like, oh, okay, that's going to have fallout. Like, look at it. It's a very shimmery palette, very foils, shinies, pretties. Like, I can't wait to work with these colors more. Like, definitely the pinks and more the matte. But the teal and the green were definitely, like, calling my name, so I had to. I just had to. And because I took this shimmer up so high, I think I'm going to do a little bit of a fuller lash than usual. So before I do my Bana mascara, I'm going to go in with a cream or a nude colored liner and just line that waterline. I absolutely love using cream nude colors when I'm doing browns because it just look at that like it just pops okay so I decided to go with a lip gloss when I was off camera instead of so I had a lip lacquer on it was the Kylie Cosmetics lip lacquer and lip liner in only a dream it's actually my current favorite liquid lip or lip lacquer if you will but I think that this one needed a little bit more orangey fall situation and that was just a little bit too nude so I went with the gloss bomb cream in honey waffles from fenty the pigment in these like they're just unbeatable when it comes to a lip lip gloss but i feel like it's like a lip lacquer because it's really pigmented i don't know either way not what we're here for <sighs> moving on so with the palette there's only one thing that i would say that i was like oh i hate it but i knew it was gonna happen and that was the fallout situation i don't have a lot of color like blue down here but i definitely have a lot of sparkles so I would just recommend if you want this palette um, and the only issue is the fallout I would definitely recommend doing your makeup first or your eyeshadow first and then your complexion which is usually what I do so I don't really know why I did it that way if I'm being honest but I did and I just think that it probably would have been a better idea had I not and just went in with this I think that these colors are absolutely gorgeous I just th come on it's so pretty what is not to like about it there's pinks there's gold this like dark purple glitter situation this press glitter the mattes are beautiful blendable you only get three four total mattes though four some are a little bit more powdery than others I will say that as I was swatching them but the colors are to die for the first mega or celestial palette that she did was absolutely stunning and this one is absolutely stunning I don't see why you wouldn't get this other than it is $78 so again Sephora is having their 2021 holiday um, savings event or sale and that is going to be happening for Rouge. It's 20% off starting November 5th, so next Friday. VIB is 15% off, and that starts on the 9th. And then Insiders, which is the lowest, and it's the 10% off, and it starts on the 11th. So if you are a Rouge member, then you're going to be able to shop, obviously, sooner, as usual, than most people, and you get 20% off. So that is when I would use this if you have any credit card rewards, if you have any point rewards. So I like to to save my points because I do get quite a bit of points and I really have uh, no need for samples it's just not not even deluxe samples I have too much makeup I don't need those so I save my points like crazy and then I would definitely splurge and use like a $10 off or even more if you have it I just think that this palette would be beautiful in your collection I think the packaging is beautiful I think getting a Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette for $78 is literally once a year situation it's a once a year deal for the past two years I don't know if she'll keep doing it but if she does it'll be a dream come true because this is the only time like I purchase her palettes is because they're so expensive so I just want to hop in here and show you guys the last one that she did last year this is the mothership mega celestial divinity eyeshadow palette um this one is called the artistry palette which I'm assuming means that there's like pinks or something in here and she can't call it an eyeshadow palette but I just want to kind of give you guys like an inside just to remind you uh, ah 
that this is so stunning this is absolutely stunning it's one of my favorite palettes i absolutely love it but i will definitely say that the packaging the packaging on the new one is better like much better this was cheaper and i thought that maybe that's why we got it for so like low compared to her other mothership palettes because this was also 78 dollars. but like this is nice and it doesn't have cardboard here this is like straight up plastic so like the other mothership ones so i don't know this is really really nice i think that the quality is better i think they're about the no holy moly so the new one is bigger let me line this up. The new one is bigger too. Wow. I think that they're beautiful. I love them both. So <laughs> I'm excited. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really do. Before you leave, make sure you hit that subscribe button for me and the bell notification so you're notified when I upload. I do upload three beauty videos every single week. You don't want to miss out on those. And as always, guys, I love you and I will see you on the next one. Bye.